Ellen, I want you to jump in on this. Uh, the FBI, how well equipped are they to, uh, to weed out social media influence campaigns, identify them and stop them from happening? Yeah, again, so they can uh, see only so far into uh, private companies' networks. What they're able to do is gather uh, intelligence on the ground and from, and actually from the National Security Agency, which also feeds intelligence to them from what they're gleaning in networks overseas. And they can put the two together uh, to, to do analyses and share that information with the social media companies. But as one, uh, you know, former FBI official told me, you know, hey, we're not the thought police. And they've also long been, there, there's a lot of, uh, of awareness of trying to, of getting, of having law enforcement get involved in, in policing, as it were, uh, platforms where anytime we, you have speech involved or First Amendment issues, we don't want the law enforcement agencies or the intelligence agencies to be telling uh, companies what they can and cannot have, have or say on their platforms. So that's one of the challenges they face. Matt, jump in on this. What are you thinking? I think Ellen's exactly right. Look, the, the, the social media companies have a responsibility for policing what's on their platform. They need to do what they can to find uh, content that is being uh, put up, put in their systems by foreign governments, in this case mostly the Russian government, and get it off their networks. The FBI has a responsibility to find out who is a cap, who is who those attacks are attributed to, to take the information and find out if they can confirm that it's the FBI and then work with the intelligence agencies and ultimately the policymakers, the president, uh, to hold them accountable. The FBI has a law enforcement function but they can't be the ones out you know looking at what everything every piece of content that's on social media so I think it comes back to two things one you have to get this net, this content off of the networks and you have to have leadership from the top on down to convince the American people not to believe it and when you have a president who not only won't do that on a consistent basis but let's be honest when we get back into a campaign setting again if there's disinformation out there from the Russian government either that they either disinformation that they put onto social media networks or information they've hacked from Democratic candidates and released public through WikiLeaks or other uh, intermediaries, there's no reason to think that the president isn't going to use that to his advantage. Everything in his history and everything that everything about the way he's behaved in, the, is in office leads you to believe he'll continue to take advantage advantage of Russian interference if he sees it to, to, to his favor. Uh, and, and certainly, uh, uh, I think the president's son and, and others have, have come out and said publicly that, and even some lawmakers have said that taking things, excuse me, like a, uh, a meeting with a Russian lawyer offering dirt on Hillary Clinton is, is just politics. It